Polymyxins are a group of basic peptides that were first discovered from the bacteria Bacillus polymyxa. There are two structurally similar polymyxins that are used clinically and their names are polymyxin B and colistin, i.e. polymyxin E. Polymyxin B is made up of a ratio of polymyxin B1 and B2. Polymyxin E was first discovered from a different bacteria species, Bacillus colistinus. Colistin is the name given to polymyxin E when it is used for topical use, and the name changes to colistomethate when polymyxin E is used intravenously. An easy way to remember that both colistin and colistomethate are polymyxins is to remember that polymyxin E was discovered from Bacillus colistinus. Polymyxins were initially developed 50 years ago for their excellent gram-negative activity. However, they began to not be used as often as their systemic use had many adverse effects. As recent antibiotic resistance increases in gram-negative bacteria, polymyxins have begun to be utilized again clinically to combat the resistant bacteria. Polymyxins act at the surface of gram-negative bacteria to disrupt the membrane. Biochemically, polymyxins are simple basic peptides that act as cationic detergents due to their amphipathic properties. Polymyxins are strongly attracted to the phospholipid bilayer that makes up the outer membrane of the gram-negative bacterium, and when polymyxins interact with the phospholipid bilayer, they disrupt and perturb the membrane. In addition to disrupting the outer membrane of gram-negative bacteria, polymyxins bind to and inactivate endotoxin. This mechanism prevents endotoxin from being released into circulation, hence protecting the body from the toxic effects of endotoxin. These toxic effects include fever, diarrhea, and potential endotoxic shock, i.e. septic shock. Polymyxins are bactericidal. Resistance to polymyxins is rare and has only really become a problem in extensively drug-resistant strains of Klebsiella species and Acinetobacter species. Gram-positive organisms are intrinsically resistant to polymyxins because gram-positive bacteria do not possess an outer membrane like gram-negative bacteria. Polymyxins are known for their activity in gram-negative bacteria. It is important to note that polymyxins are only active in gram-negative bacteria. Furthermore, polymyxins are primarily active against aerobes and not anaerobes. Polymyxins are active against Enterobacteriaceae, Pseudomonas species, and Acinetobacter species. Proteus species and Serratia species are not sensitive to polymyxins. Lastly, Neisseria species, Burkholdera species, and Stenotrophomona species are resistant to polymyxins. The relatively recent emergence of extensively antibiotic-resistant strains, including Enterobacteriaceae, Pseudomonas aeruginosa, and Acinetobaumoni, has renewed interest in systemic parental salvage polymyxin therapy. Topical administration of polymyxin, such as an application to a superficial cut or scrape, is well tolerated. The lack of adverse effects after topical administration of polymyxins is due to an almost complete lack of systemic absorption from these application sites. Systemic parental administration of polymyxins is toxic and leads to dose-dependent nephrotoxicity. Neurological adverse effects can accompany the nephrotoxicity. These adverse effects include slurred speech, vertigo, paresthesis, apnea, and muscle weakness. This concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Please direct any questions to me on Twitter at Sheehy underscore Ryan. I've also included my sources here. Thanks again.